So this might not be the best time to start a vlog. I'm running late for work and uh, my phone's pretty much out of storage. Okay, so this is already a disaster. I just spent two minutes talking at the camera, planning to edit it down, and I uh, thankfully paused it and played it back, and there was no audio. So I don't know what I just did. I don't know why I'm still wearing these, uh, because I tried putting those in and the audio didn't come out. So now I'm just talking at my uh, laptop screen anyway. A lot of the parts of the beginning of this vlog will probably be me having no idea what to say and then hitting record anyway and then doing a lot of editing. Still getting used to looking at the camera. Looking at it's is pretty weird. Speaking of cameras, I've been thinking about buying one, but that seems a little preemptive since I haven't even uploaded this yet and I have no idea if I'm gonna keep recording another day. But I'm kind of already getting into it. Didn't have a particular reason for starting to record a vlog other than uh, I guess sort of following the trend. I've been seeing more of them around from poker players and I'm a poker player. Yeah, so this is me. My name is Matt Vaughn. You probably don't know me, but maybe you will soon. I guess we'll find out. I'm a poker player. I work a 9 to 5 job. Probably should have said that first. I think a normal person would have said that first. I live with my girlfriend, Mickey currently living in Madison, Wisconsin, and that's pretty much it. Let's get into it. So like I said, I'm a poker player, but I've got a full-time job. I think one of the hardest parts of being a poker player who has a full-time job is just the reality of the hours of your life. I mean, most of the time that I'm free, it's either the weekend or I've just come off of eight to 10 hours of working. That's not to say what I am doing is harder than like being a professional player. But I think one huge advantage that a professional player has over an amateur is they just get up and go go do it. If I play during the week, and I sometimes do, I play home games, I'll get home from work at 6.30 and then I'll try to scarf something down and then I'll run to the game to try to get there not too late. Usually they start at 7 or 7.30, I get there, you know, 8-ish, maybe a little earlier. And, you know, I'm already tired when I get there, um, so that's tough. Another hard part about being an amateur is just the life balance. I mean, it's it's extra hours, you know, it's not it's not my job. I, I have to make time to do it, and that time comes out of time that can be spent doing other things. And I love poker. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't be sitting here in front of this camera uh, if I didn't love poker, but it's time that I could spend elsewhere, and it's definitely something that, that can be hard to balance, you know. Poker is very, not just demanding, but it just takes a long time to go do. Probably the other hardest thing about being an amateur is that even with all the time that it does take to play, it's hard to get in a lot of hours, and my hours end up being pretty spread out, which means not exactly that I feel rusty, but I definitely don't feel the sharpest that I would like to at all times. Some of my best 
streaks of play good would come from when I'm playing a bunch of days in a row or, you know, when I'm at least playing like every week, 20 hours a week. And, and I'm not able to keep that up all the time, but I do go through stretches where I'm doing probably 20, 25 hours a week average. Sometimes I'm only playing 15 hours a week, two weeks out of the month. Like I'm definitely off my game at that point. Okay, so it's uh, finally the end of the day. I'm gonna pack up, go get some food together, and um, yeah, I'm gonna go play some poker. Let's do it. Okay, it's Friday morning. I'm at work. My office mates out today, though. Played a session last night. First session in the vlog. Made 1160 in about five hours. The game's 1 2, no limit for two rounds, and PLO for one round. It's a match the biggest stack game. You can get pretty deep, but the initial mine's 300, so it usually doesn't, you know, get deep very fast. Mostly just ran really good. I made hands on I needed to. Got away from a few you know marginal spots where i hit something that was like a card i wanted to hit but then the action just dictated that i had to fold yeah i mean it was it was a good session a lot of fun banter uh last night it's, it's a home game and a lot of the guys know each other yeah it was it was just a good, good time book one win for the vlog